Mr. Rossetti, I, I understand that, that you, you took some lumps earlier in, in regard to some of your statements on the IRA. I wanted to give you a chance to, to clarify uh, some, of, some of your remarks. Uh, sure. You know, one thing that I thought was a little interesting was that uh, you know, Representative Kasten, I think, correctly pointed out that subsidies do distort markets and actually reduce competition and therefore make things more expensive in the long run, uh, yet then defended the extremely large subsidies in the IRA. And, uh, it seems to be contradictory. Uh, but one thing I also think is important to note is uh, the IMF is frequently cited for its estimate of fossil fuel subsidies, but that estimate is almost entirely contingent upon an estimate that um, that if carbon is not taxed, that therefore that equates to a subsidy, which is kind of similar logic to saying that you're, you know, robbing or subsidizing your local bank by not robbing it. Um, if the Democrats wanted to implement a carbon tax to address that, if they truly believe that, then uh, they certainly could have under budget reconciliation provisions. Thank you, uh, Mr. Rossetti. Mr. Rossetti, are you a lobbyist? Absolutely not. And are you, are you advocating for solutions that are economically sustainable? Economically sustainable climate solutions are key to actually bring down global emissions. You look at where emissions are growing, it's developing nations. So if you want something that's going to help us in the long term, especially address these, uh, these impacts that many are so concerned about, you need to have technology that's low in cost, exportable, and going to be deployable in communities that might have a fifth or less of the income of a typical American household. Uh, Madam Chair, I think the, the point Mr. Rossetti just made is, is absolutely key, that, that ensuring that the technologies that the, that the federal government is involved in, that there is a path to economic sustainability because that is the only way that you achieve a path to environmental sustainability. And, and otherwise, you're creating the volatility. And I think Mr. Rossetti just made the point that the government's actions right now, we're seeing higher emissions. As I noted in my opening statement, we're seeing one quarter of all Americans unable to afford food, medicine, or energy. And, and we're seeing greater energy insecurity. And that would, even Secretary Blinken just this week went to other countries asking them for critical mineral supplies that we have right here in the United States. So I. I think, again, we share objectives in regard to lower emissions and a sustainable trajectory, but I think maybe a different pathway of getting there would make a lot more sense. Yield back. All right, next up, Mr. Kirk.